Let it be on the record that I've been chased away. I love you. No, you don't. Hi guys, welcome to Just Heart KE. My name is Nyake and welcome to this video. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're a new subscriber, please remember to subscribe and join the family. So today, uh, I'm going to take you through a little unpacking that I am doing. Not necessarily unpacking, unboxing things I bought or things that came through uh, just a little over a week ago. This video is a collection of home improvement uh, paraphernalia because I recently started to put together a little cause of space for myself and my significant other and a little self-improvement as well because I purposed this year in my vision board video that you should watch right here to improve myself so a little self-improvement a little skincare a little home and everything in between so let's get started so we're going to start with self-improvement so this year like every other year or last year <laughs> this year like last year i committed to reading at least a book every month uh, last year I read I think up to seven books and this year I am committing to read 12 books hopefully I can get to 13 I don't know but I am well on my way there so the bookstore is definitely one of the favorite places I like to hang out and I went to the bookstore uh, no I was just passing through actually and I picked some really interesting reads that I've started reading that we've been doing for book club and I want to share with you some of those ones so my first and uh, most recommended uh, book that I picked up is everything is fucked so that's the title of the book it's called everything is fucked it's from the same guy who wrote the subtle art of not giving a fuck so if you have not read that book just uh, put this one down first Go and read the subtle art of not giving a fuck. Hint, it is not about not caring. It is about you need to find out. So I picked up this book. I just started reading it this morning. I am on page 34 and it's giving me so many things to think about. It's really interesting. It's the most self-help, self-help book I've ever read. Like it's not your typical self-help book. I feel like it's a little existential argument that you need to have with yourself so do yourself a favor and pick this one up i picked it on the street and they are quite a number of them along way avenue and i got this for a thousand shillings i'm sure if you have you can get it at a better price but the asking price is usually 1200 shillings you can get it at tbc when they finally get to stock it and i really suggest that you pick this book up another one that i picked up i had this copy before i had read quite a bit but i didn't finish and i find it really eye-opening is this book it's called the side hustle by chris Gullibu. Gullibu? 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 so far i kind of liked it it's a very practical book on how to figure out i guess a side hustle because that's what i'm trying to figure out like what I want to do on the side that gives me joy and that can make me a little bit extra coin. So this is another book that I picked up. I think I read until chapter 2. So I'm yet to finish. If this is my January read, then possibly this is my February. I just need to get to 12 books. So this is my second one and I really like it. Then I picked up this little, little two sort of handy books. They are... A presentation in a book and it's kind of good and handy when you are walking around and you need to wait for someone you have you're meeting someone or something like that I got this as well from this was <laughs> sorry 
So this book was 1,090 shillings in textbook center. It's a good investment. I think you should get it. And then this I also picked from textbook center. There are 650 shillings each. And, and this is the essential managers presenting handbook. And this is the negotiating handbook. I feel like these are two of some skills that I don't think I have lockdown on and if I do at least know something it really needs to be polished so they're like you attending a master class or a presentation on negotiating and presenting I've been reading the presenting one I'm almost halfway so this I I'll finish and then I'll tell you whether I recommend them or not but they're really good and handy books and you can never go wrong buying a book so yeah that is that the next things i want to share with you are peaches because i watched this really um uh, this little video from patricia which she was saying as a grown woman the things that you need to have and good kitchenware is part of that so this was totally impulse buys and gifts and I want to share with you. So the first one is this whisk. So I bought a metal whisk, but then where I stay, I use hard water and it starts to rust pretty quickly. So I really had to pick something that is rust friendly, hard water friendly, I guess. So I picked this one up from Naivas, it was 675 shillings. I'm yet to use it, but I think I'm going to enjoy using it, I don't know. I think I'm going to enjoy using it, um, because pancakes. I don't bake as often, so because pancakes. So my sister gifted me this set of, this set of spoon, spatula, um, and this fries thing drain sieve i don't know what it's called and a bunch of spoons uh she gifted me this last year actually but i've never used them uh i have this thing about plastic uh, but then i need i have some nonstick pans so i guess this ones will come in handy and for serving uh well ideally i would tell you to buy silicone dishes it's a good investment but it doesn't have to also have like good plastic on the side i'm yet to start using it and tell you whether it's a good purchase or not but i have them anyway and then the last thing i want to share with you in kitchen is this cutlery holder i am struggling to find ways to store my cutlery that are not traditional ways to store cutlery i guess so I picked this up from Thailand Carpet. It was 530 shillings, I believe. And we're waiting to see whether we're going to enjoy it. Maybe I'm just going to end up putting my pens in here. So let's go to skincare. So in skincare, I ordered this items from Amazon because they um, they stopped my favorite skincare line yet and I can't get them locally I've never seen anyone stopping this locally so I bought this next pieces off of Amazon I made the order on 31st of December 30th, 31st of December last year and they came a few days ago so it took about a month I shipped with Savo store and I love them because they're they're really efficient and they are very their customer care is really amazing so that's why I really enjoy using Savo store so first out of course is I needed to say that this got over my absolute favorite clarifying face wash is over and so i did replace that with this 
which is a clarifying face wash. I may change, they switched up the line a bit. So this is a clarifying face wash by Art Naturals. This one's for all skin types, but this was specifically for acne, oily and acne prone skin. So I guess this should work just fine. It's got tea tree oil, or so they say, which is the, I think, seventh or eighth, the eighth ingredient. So that, that should be, that should be cool. So I got this one off of Amazon as well. It was about 900 shillings, I believe, but, and it's 225 mLs. This usually lasts me for about six months. So I don't find it too expensive, I think it's okay. And my skin absolutely loves it. Back my popular demand. <laughs> so one other thing that I picked up is this serum trio by Art Naturals. It comes in this little box uh, that I should probably unbox properly. It comes in this little box. Um, it's, it's three, one ounce bottles of serum um the serums are the retinol serum the vitamin c serum and the hyaluronic acid serum so when you open the box you get this little card that tells you how to use the product um and when to use it and then they come in this little three little absolutely gorgeous boxes so it's my first time to use serums from from Art Naturals and that's I bought them because I really like the product. So I hope this is gonna work really really well and I can't wait to sample them, try them out and then um, finally have an opinion about them. What is this set of creams? So again, they come in three in this little beautiful box. Uh, they're from Art Naturals as well. Um, they are the the Igel, the retinol uh, cream, and the face and neck cream. I have never used this as well. I always wanted to have a retinol cream because retinol is really good for anti-aging properties and and fading dark marks. And so I've always wanted to try that. To be honest, I don't know what the difference is between the face and neck cream and the retinol cream. I guess this should be like your day cream. And then retinol you always use at night. So I can't wait to try this one out. So something else I got is an applicator bottle. So I got this applicator bottle. This I got from I'll insert where I got it from. It was 290 200 and 55 shillings. This is good for getting into your scalp when you're applying your onion, your oils. Like it's really good. And this one has marks. So if you're doing proportions, it has it's calibrated. So if you do, you're mixing things in proportions. This is a very good bottle for that. Something else I picked up is this lip balm. I picked this from Super Cosmetics and. Good home I believe in Mombasa and I really I'm wearing this right now I really really love this um, lip balm they really really keep your lips moisturized and they have this little, little glossy finish so I really really enjoy this it can be a little bit hard to open and I don't enjoy opening it but it's it smells really really good so I have it in rose and I have it in aloe vera as well I think I like the aloe vera better 
I did forget to mention that part part of my skincare as well, a large part of my skincare is masking. And I picked up this mask. It's the Majestic Pure Dead Sea Mud Mask with tea tree oil. So I picked up this little mask um, on Amazon as well as part of my skincare routine. My very beloved Art Naturals mask just ended i think i'm gonna put it right here somewhere it just ended and i really do need a clay mask everywhere i go it's part of my skincare routine and so i picked this one up and i'm hoping to really enjoy using it it has a few more things than i expected in this mask so i hope it doesn't really disappoint me but if it does of course i will give it away um but i really like the jar it's so cute and complicated and yeah i hope i'm gonna like it so i think that's it for skin so let's go home because home has the most funkiest thing ever so where do we start? Um, so I picked up pillows. So the struggle in buying pillows is finding a pillow that's going to give you a little bit of longevity because some pillows that you buy, you buy pillows and then they just deflate in two months, maybe. So I didn't know, I've never bought a pillow or paid attention to people buying pillows in my life so I was faced with this very difficult decision of picking a good pillow uh, so I just picked a, a hollow fiber pillow I guess all of them are usually hollow fiber I don't know I picked uh, a 100 1000 GCM GSM whatever GSM means uh, which was like the most firm and most heaviest pillow. I picked this one. This one is Flamingo. I picked one from Flamingo and I picked the other from Vitafo. Uh, this, this pillows, this ones are from Vitafo and this ones are from Flamingo and they are a thousand GSM. So I guess they should give me some really good, uh, really, really good service. Um, this one was 695 shillings. The ones from Vitaform were 995 shillings. They're a bit more expensive than the Vitaform ones. This ones are from Taskies. I'm sure you can go and buy them off, um, off the warehouse and that should be cheaper. But that's what I got. And I'm going to test them out and tell you how their longevity works. The other thing I got were this really cute pillows and covers so i got one in mrs i got another one in mr and one in thankful so i got this thankful thankful i got this this are uh, square i think 45 by 45 45 25 this one's um and this long cute pillow i got from Home Decor 254 on Instagram. They all retailed at 950 each. So the pillow was 400 and the covers were 550 each. So you can switch up as many covers as you want, but the pillow was 400. And they're really cute decorated pillows on the bed. So I really, really like them. I think they were a good a good purchase uh something else i got from home decor to try for as well is this little board this one says get naked because everybody wants to get naked so this one's i this one i got from home decor to try for as well i think it was a thousand shilling and it's a nice side boy, uh, board to put on the on your sideboard um on on your sideboard i guess and this 
cute things. They have others that are written more holistic things. But getting naked is also holistic, so. Uh, then I picked this picture frames up. I picked two of this. They are, I don't know if you can see them. Okay, so that's what they are. It's a metallic finish with a wooden stand. And you can hang your two little two pictures with these two wooden pegs. I picked the ones from Saving Home. Saving Home is in Nyali Center. It's in Nyali Center. So they were having a sale on that day. So usually this retails for 450 shillings. But when I went there, I bought one for... They had a 50% off. So I got one for 225 shillings. So I picked two of them. So I wanted to really uh, talk about this one. The box is a little bit mangled. It's a little bit mangled. But I received this package about three weeks ago. So late last year, I was scrolling through this as essential. And they were having a giveaway for this really cute calendar. And I knew that I wanted to do something for my desk. And I entered the giveaway and I did not win. But I got the plug for the very cute calendar. And so I made an order. They were having, I think, 30% off or something. So I ordered the calendar for this year, last year. And I got the package early, early January this year. So the package came, it was tight, but I had to open because I was really curious. Um, in there, there was this really, <laughs> this really, really, really cute uh, thing thing. <laughs> so dirty. So it comes with a little card. It comes with a little card that was written, thank you for your order, wishing, wishing you a great 2020. Thank you from the store. And then it's basically some really, really beautifully printed cards. Some really, really beautifully printed cards that you put on this on this stand, well, where did thing go? Yeah, so that you put on this stand, and that's how your calendar looks like. It looks very posh and very. So, I got this one. I must have paid three thousand for it, but it usually retails at I think four thousand five hundred or something like that. So. Yes, this, my little, this is my little little calendar that will soon have a space on my desk and I'm so excited for it. Then I got this. So this So this this is a laundry basket. This is how it looks like. This is literally how it looks like. I think I'm gonna open it on the side so that you see. So this is a laundry basket that we picked up from TAC, Taki Mombasa. So we were going in there to, I think, go to shop and then saw this really cute laundry basket. So the thing is, I am over the plastic laundry baskets I find them looking very I don't know tacky and we had a blue laundry basket which is not anywhere close to our colors right now so um, it's not working it's not working so we got this cute laundry baskets that are gray and white which is sort of part of color scheme so we picked up this pieces also so that we can be we can start washing clothes um sooner than we used to <laughs> so yes uh this retailed for 
1400 shillings and yeah I hope they're gonna give us service <laughs> Amazon also had something for the home or I spotted something for the home on Amazon that I was so excited to pick. Um, it was a splurge in the sense that uh, it was an impulse buy but I'm so glad I made it. So what I'm talking about is actually this clock right here. So it is an alarm clock. It's drop dead gorgeous. It's an alarm clock that I picked up. Well, technically it's a digital clock because I'm kind of into that right now. And it's an alarm clock that tells you the temperature and also the relative humidity. I'm not sure it's actually accurate, but it looks really, really good. In fact, you um, take a look. So, uh, in fact, take a look. So inside the box, it comes with a power cord and an instructions manual, which is this right here. And it tells you how to set up the clock. The clock itself, after you set up, looks like this. It's really, 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 really pretty. It looks like very old uh, wood, sort of MDF-ish wood but then that has time just popping popping out of it but it needs electricity so and you can use a beauty but it needs electricity but this is how it looks like i'm really really excited i love how it looks and i can't wait to put it on the desk and enjoy it and looking forward to being woken up by you tomorrow uh chances i won't wake up but i really really love this clock which I picked up on Amazon. I believe it may have been somewhere between 20 and 30 dollars, but I am going to link all that information right below in the description box of this video. So, yeah, to that retail for 1400 showing. Um, last but definitely not the list is a so I've always so I I have always it's still packaged still packaged so I've always always wanted a plant but the time wasn't right and my mother's house did not have no we actually used to have plants they're just live plants for really really high maintenance so I decided to pick a thick plant. It was looking really, really good. I got it off Tak in Mombasa as well. Tak in Yali in Mombasa. It was 2,200 shillings, which is really, really affordable for something of that magnitude. I've looked around and thick plants are really expensive. So I find tack very reasonably priced. So I immediately fell in love with the plant. So it's a more it's a, a fake <laughs> it's a fake monster, but it does the job and it's pretty AF and you can navigate the leaves. It even has color grading on the leaves. Can you believe it? So I really really enjoyed um picking that up i like i really really love the plant and i hope it's gonna make the room be more homely i guess so anyway so that is all from my little haul i hope you enjoyed i hope um you found this haul useful i will link all the products that i have mentioned and where to find them and their prices if i can remember in the description bar below so please be sure to check it out before you ask me where i got anything and i'm going to see you in the next video thank you for hanging out with me please make sure to subscribe share the video um invite your friends so that we can grow this family together and yeah thanks for hanging around i'm gonna see you in the next one bye